This is a video tutorial for the Happy Days Butterfly Hairband. Let's make. You'll need two circles, two squares, some cross grain ribbon, needle and thread, sharp scissors and either a hair bobble band or a hair grip. Place your two circles right sides together. Ensure that it all lines up and then add a few clips. Now we're going to take it over to the sew machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Carefully sew all the way around and stop. I've sewn all the way around. Now we need to find the centre. So fold in half and finger press, and fold in half the other way and finger press. You could take it to your iron if you prefer. And then using these cro this cross here, we've got to separate the front and back fabric, so pull them apart and then carefully, using some sharp scissors, snip across there and across there. Using the centre crease, I've carefully cut just through one side of the fabric, don't go all the way through, and I've folded back so you can see. And I've also snipped all the way around the curve of the circle to give a nicer finish when we turn it. I'm now going to turn it the right way out through the hole I made. I've turned the circle the right way out, I've pushed out all the seams and I've pressed it. And I'm going to put it to one side while we work on the other part. Place your two squares right sides together, so pretty side to pretty side. Line up all the sides and edges and add some clips. I've added some clips and now I'm going to take it over to the sew machine and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, sew all the way around as we did for the circle. I've sewn all the way around. I've also snipped each of the four corners and to determine the centre, I folded it in half and pressed and done the same for the other side and pressed. And it's at this cross I'm going to snip once again just the one side of the fabric. I've carefully snipped all the way around. Now I'm going to turn it the right way out by pulling it through the hole. I've turned it the right way out and I've pushed all the corners out and I've also pressed. We're now going to join it all together. With your slits uppermost on both sides turn them over so you can't see them. Taking your square fabric, fold in half diagonally and press. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the circle, fold it in half and press. Now open them out Thread your needle with some strong thread and tie a knot at the end. Do it double as I've done. And we're going to now do a bit of hand sewing. So take your circle and using that crease line that we made, 
sew a running stitch all the way along there up until about a centimetre from the end. I've sewn a running stitch all the way along and I've overlapped the circle on top of the square about a centimetre and next stitch will secure the circle and the square so sew right through there. Once you've sewn through both carry on with your running stitch as we did on the circle all the way along to the end. I've sewn a running stitch all along the square and with your needle still attached you've got to gather it all up so carefully gather bit by bit Don't panic if it looks a bit odd at this stage, just take your time and it'll soon start to look like, like a butterfly. And when you're happy with your shape, take your cotton that you've left attached and carefully wind round the middle. I've wound my cotton around the centre a few times and tied a knot. And our butterfly is starting to come together now. We're going to work now on the centre band. For my centre band, I'm using cross grain ribbon. It's actually a ribbon that came wrapped around my fat quarters that I'd saved. Take your ribbon and place it around the centre where you've just wound your cotton. Turn it over on the back and at this stage you've got to decide whether you're going to use a hair bubble or a grip. I'm going to use a hair bubble so put your hair bubble in, thread it round and then carefully position your ribbon around the back. You may have to trim your ribbon to fit, but when you're happy with it all tucked in, either sew it or use your glue gun. I've added my hair elastic and that's your Happy Days Butterfly Hairband all finished. <laughs>